So uh, we have a two-part study, and the first part um, considers children's um, ratings of, of foods, and some of these foods were paired with a collectible toy, others with a, a, just a simple toy, and some with no toy. And as we found, the collectible toy seems to be um, motivating children and changing their preference uh, for the food. With the first study, we found that the um, ratings really changed a lot if, uh, if, if a healthier alternative was paired with a collectible toy. Um, the surprising finding there was that the pairing of a collectible toy with a healthy meal actually shifted the ratings so much so that the healthy meal became as appealing as the, the fast food meal, which was the, the other alternative we were testing as well. Two things that I hope we can take away from this study and, 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 and provide to policymakers. The first is that a toy paired with a, a food, especially a collectible toy, influences that child's preference for that food. The second point is that collectible toys are particularly powerful because collectible toys um, motivate a child to want whatever's paired with it. They, they see the collectible toy and understand it as something that is um, a goal of theirs is to get all the toys in the set. And when a toy in the second study was what we call a superfluous toy, it was a toy they already had that was a collectible toy, but not one that completed their set, it was not as attractive and not as motivating in terms of changing preference for the food paired with it. We hope to inform public policy and for uh, there to be an understanding that collectible toys do influence child perceptions of food, of flavor, of taste, and their likability, and that needs to be in the public space and for decision making to be founded on scientific evidence versus um, something more emotional.